Okay, 7-7, seven -seven, Algebra 1, Multiplying Polynomials. So we're going to learn one of the uh, most commonly used form of multiplication in algebra and any other math uh, from this point on, and that is called the FOIL method. To use the FOIL method, I need to have two polynomials. So I'm multiplying two polynomials together. These are binomials. Okay, so uh, let's move this down a little bit. Ah, don't do that. There we go. So I'm multiplying two binomials together and I'm going to teach you the FOIL method. And so over here we've got, and that's just like the FOIL you have in your house and it stands for first outside, inside, and last. So we're going to do four multiplications here. We're going to multiply our first terms. So our first terms are the x and the x. So x times x, first terms, is x squared. Now I want to move this down a little bit. Then we're going to multiply our outside terms. That's x times negative 8. So that's going to be negative 8x. Then we're going to multiply our inside terms. That's 4 times x. So that gives me a positive 4x. And then we're going to multiply our last terms. That's positive 4 times negative 8, which is negative 32. Now what we want to do is we want to combine the like terms. And so I end up with x squared then negative 8x plus 4x is negative 4x, and then minus 32. So there is my final answer. Okay, again, first, outside, inside, last. I have a good friend that teaches this, and she teaches the smiley man method. If you look at when I've drawn those to connect, it kind of looks like a smiley face. And so x plus 4 times x minus 8, <clears throat> after I've combined the like terms, gives me x squared minus 4x minus 32. So let's look at another example. Okay, go ahead and once you've written that down, go ahead and hit pause, work through that. Again, use your FOIL method at the top of your paper when you're working. Uh, if you'll just write FOIL, just to give you a reminder, first outside, inside, last. Okay, so go ahead and hit pause and work through that one. Okay, let's see how you did. So let's go first times first. That's going to give me 6x squared. Outside times outside. That's going to give me negative 14x. Inside times inside. That's going to give me a positive 12x. And last times last, that's going to give me a negative 28. Again, notice the little smiley man there. First, outside, inside, last. Let's combine like terms, polish this one up. So that's 6x squared. I've got negative 14x plus 12x. That's negative 2x minus 28. Okay, so check yours with that one and see how you did. Let's do one more. Okay, go ahead and hit pause and work through your FOIL method. Okay, first terms, negative 8z squared. Outside terms, 
negative 8z inside terms negative 18z and last terms negative 18 combine like terms negative 8z squared <clears throat> negative 8 minus 18 is negative 26 negative 26 Z excuse me and then minus 18 okay foil method smiley man first outside inside last now last example Okay, last example, when I'm multiplying a binomial times a trinomial, okay, the first one is a binomial, two terms, second one is a trinomial, three terms, I can't use the FOIL method, okay, because I don't have a first outside and inside last in my trinomial. So there are two methods here, and here's the method that I encourage. It's not the only one, but that I encourage. <clears throat> when we multiplied the numbers 125 times 42, I'm just making this up. This is long, long multiplication of old school. Okay, we just made a column. Notice I have three terms on the top here, and I have two terms on the bottom. I can do the same thing with trinomials and binomials. So I put my trinomial on top because it has the most terms, and underneath it, I put my x minus 8. And now I'm just going to do some old school multiplication. I'm going to take negative 2 times negative 8, which is positive 16. Then I take my negative 8 times my positive 4x, which gives me negative 32x. Then I do my negative 8 times x squared. That gives me negative 8x squared. Okay, then we go down to the second row. I'm going to put in a 0 as my place marker. And then I go to the x. x times negative 2, negative 2x. x times 4x, positive 4x squared. And then x times x squared, that gives me x to the third power. Now there's not going to be any carrying in this, so I can just go from left to right, bring down the x cubed, Negative 8x squared plus 4x is negative 4x squared. Negative 32x minus 2 is negative 34x. And 16 and 0 gives me 16. Okay, so that's only for a trinomial and a binomial. We'll just do long multiplication. And that seems to be the, the easiest way that I have found. So that's about eight and a half minutes. That is 7-7, multiplying polynomials.